Hello and Shalom. It is sad when we lose a parent, but it is the natural course of life. It's even more sad when the parent you lose was one of the giants of the Jewish nation of the century. Rabbi Adin Steinsaltz was known as the Rashi of our time. He has written more than 300 books and left material for another more than 300 to be published. A genius with a mind of one in a million maybe a billion. A small man with a huge personality, funny and sarcastic. He has met kings, princesses and presidents, yet he always remained unfazed and simple. His passion was studying and writing. Today I have the honor of having a chat with his son, Rabbi Meni Eben Israel Steinzeltz, one year from his passing away. Welcome, Rabbi. Hi. How are Pleasure you? Pleasure to be here. Honor to have you here. Firstly, we are entering, we're finishing a year. How does it feel? Well, it, it was very heavy. This year went uh, very quick. You just blink an eye and it's over, it's finished, it's gone. Um, it's, it's deep. You have a lot of time to reflect. I believe that the entire purpose of saying Kaddish is not for the souls that departed. It's for the soul of the people who are remaining. If three times a day you have the moment of reflection on the passing. You can think about the individual who just departed three times a day. It's a perfect therapy. And it's most likely it's a regular therapy. You go to therapist, he doesn't say anything. You say, hmm, hmm, hmm. And you thinking and you talking and you uttering, which the Kaddish have the same fulfillment. Yeah, it was very heavy. Yeah, but this is, is, as you said, this is part of the course of life. You know what I was scared? between the many things I was scared of when I heard about it. Will there be enough that this rabbi left for us to enjoy for the next generations? Oh. So, funny you mentioned. Um, in, in reality, we have, we estimate that actually the book, the individual book we can produce from the materials we have now, of course, with light editing or sometimes, ca some cases, severe editing, but 80 books. He's not including his master series on Hasidic literature like Likutei Torah and Torah Or and Dech Mitzvotecha. Each one of them can have five or six volumes by itself. Uh, it's huge. The men have, the information is unbelievable. We estimate that we have about, about um, 5,000 hours of video, wow. about 10,000 hours of audio. Wow and numerous, numerous articles and texts and interviews and unbelievable. I mean, the, the man was prolific and you... Did you know that? Well, well I you're knew, finding out more and I more. knew he was prolific. I didn't know how much. I, we never realized it that, you know, from a very early stage in, in modern society, he used computer. Okay. I mean, a lot of people, you know, a lot of writers write in, you know, write actually, you know, using a pen paper or using you know, in, now, he actually used computer from a very, very young age, so the, relatively, of the organization. So the quantities of information is unbelievable because there's no limits. You can write and write. And also there's a lot of stuff that are just notes and, you know, and the beginning of, for, of some ideas of the future. Uh, but, yeah, it's unbelievable. They, they, no, no, there's enough material for a lifetime. <laughs> You are attacking now with social media, which is very important. You want to reach youth. You want to reach so you can reach so many right. more, you know, crowds from all over the world. How is your social media going? So it's a, like any other social media. It's a challenge. It's always a challenge between what is meaningful, what is Steinzeltsy, what is the, the you know meaning meaning of life, uh, <laughs> deep lines to something social media, which is most likely cute very appealing, very uh, welcoming. But you know, the rabbi used to speak in a short period of time for about an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, that's what he felt comfortable with, you know, when he, his ideas were made a full circle from making the questions answered. It took about an hour. Yeah. So now we, the challenge is to find people to summarize this beautiful ideas to one minute, 27 seconds, or 54 seconds for Instagram or whatever venue you do. But I think it's very important. The only way to reach, especially younger people, yeah. is reach them where they're at. Not where we are. I think that is something that we all learned 
from Lubavitcher Rebbe and we learn it from any social media person. You have to meet the people where they're at. So and be on their phones, in their computers. Be on the phone, the computers, in, in Instagram. I mean, I understand and not always the company we keep is as holy, but it's part of the game. Part of the deal is to reach them at where they're at. Your father, though, was extremely sarcastic and, and funny, and he reached everybody, young and old. Like, he had no problem in right. conversing with a genius or with a simple student. Well, A, I'm not my father. <laughs> there. Um, two, his organization is different because the organization main material, main commodity is books and texts. Books and texts are heavier than photos and heavier yeah. than videos. Right. And in Don't order for someone it. to approach that, you have to actually just spend the time to create it. You have to reinvent the wheel constantly. You know, you don't have the leverage of people sitting and listening for 27, 57. That's why seconds. you have created an app. Right. So that's the reason we created an app. It's and incredible. We, again, the, the, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful apps. It's called so, the Steins app. It's called the Steins app. Yeah. If you search in you your local uh, stores in Google and, uh, and Apple, you find it on the Steinsdorf app and you find everything we produce will it's be incredible. eventually on it. With the pictures, with the images, everything should be there. Again, we're still, we're still adding more information, still on beta. The official launch of the app will be around the, the Chagim, the holiday, September. That's the goal, that's the aim. But we, we really did amazing work there. It's really nice, it's very welcoming. Yeah. The easy, easy yeah. very comfortable. For easy, everybody. Right, and even, even gamification on it. I mean, you, when you accomplished, let's say, a one page, yeah. like a, you get a, 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 a ribbon, oh, or uh, when you finish you know, the first page, it's like, it'll be like <laughs> confetti coming down. It's really beautiful. We, did, we tried to make it really as appealing as we can, and also to make sure that people are not getting terrified from mass quantities of material. Right. Because the, 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 that's part of the challenge. When you teach When you see books like this, you get a little... Right. <laughs> when you see books like that, you see, you know, you, you get deterred. You know, it's like, oh my God, this... No, but that's the idea. The, the idea is actually, we implemented already in the text. So we cut everything for short segments. That's amazing. So a person can have, you know, so three little bit and move forward. I actually saw your Instagram and the short videos that you have I think weekly or daily on that the rabbi gives are incredible. They are just gems thrown here and there of, of, of the rabbi. I really advise everybody to go on it. This is the new Talmud Steinzel came out in French. How many languages do you publish? So we, we're going to do full sets going to be in English, Hebrew and French. We of course always looking for more funding um, <laughs> to do it in other languages. Uh, but we'll, that's the three main languages. We have cooperation with with the Italian government to create uh, some kind of... Uh, Italians Italian are very Talmud, big on Steinzeit. Right, Italian Talmud. It's not ours completely, but they're using our material. And we have similar agreement with uh, the Russian Jewish community to wow. create some kind of a Russian Steinzeltsi type of... Uh, I know there's the, a Talmud in Chinese also. There's the Talmud Chinese in Chinese, nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us. Oh, um, it's... It, it's you know, it's, it's one of those rumors. I'm not sure how deep it is go that goes. We actually have two books translated to Chinese. One is the Pirkei Avot. Wow. It's like a short synopsis oh. of Pirkei Avot, Ethics of Our Fathers. And the other one is Essential Talmud. Both those books were published in Chinese. So I just want to make some order because I want to give here important information for people who are uh, or are interested and, I mean, everybody loved your father. But there is a continuation to this, Absolutely. and the continuation is happening big time. The yeah. social media is big, is strong. There is a big website. The website is right. we'll put it also on steinzeltcenter.org. Steinzelt Steinzelt we'll put it down. There is uh, the Instagram account, which is also Steinzelt Center, Center. and, and, and there Facebook. is the, the Facebook, and there is the app coming out, which is amazing with so much information just at the tip of your fingers. Absolutely, it's incredible. Well, I'm sure you had to take some time off to give this interview, some precious time of yours. Yeah. I met your father. I was a huge fan, and he, he was definitely a special, special man. And I'm very honored that I had this opportunity. So I really thank you for being with us and sharing with us such important information. My pleasure. Good, good, uh, uh, good luck in all your incredible work. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Love. Thank you, and see you next week.